Hey guys, it's Kevin. We have a printer repair shop at Greensboro, North Carolina. We got so many DTL printers for repair, so two of them delivered today. One in this corner. More printers, more printers, more printers. During the repair, I find one common problem, which is the print and burnout. So this video, I will show you how to install a small gadget to prevent it. You apply to OL1800 or um, like a Artisan 1430, 1410, 1420, and also 1390. Uh, the difference between the DTF printing, sublimation printing, and the regular printing is you're going to use lots of ink, especially DTF. You have so many white ink. Not only on not only on paper or film, also is like a in, is on top of the printhead. You put so much ink in there. You have a damper. Uh, if you hook up with a white, uh, white ink management system, it can burst, and uh, you get so many ink from above, from below, splash, and uh, all of them try to get into the printhead with a voltage of. Uh, four times of a regular car batteries. Epson has a really sophisticated uh, protection. Just kidding, <laughs> what do you think? Here's the printhead. The power goes in here, and you can see the two pins already shorted. All the contact points are exposed, and uh, it's, you only need one drop of ink to kill this. It will not only kill your printhead, it's going to also kill the FFC cable and the motherboard. So if you multi $1,000 printer work the first day and uh, quit the second day, doesn't turn on, <laughs> check your printhead. So today uh, we're going to use a gadget from uh, bchtechnology.com and we go to DTF direct film and DTF parts. And we're going to have a printhead uh, protective cover and also I recommend is get a small tube of uh, silicon seal uh, but if you have other kind of silicon seal that's fine and uh, this one is made by Holland uh, Electronics it's uh, work really well on the on the main, on the uh, PCB board the reason we want a cover is we don't want to directly apply the silicon to the cable because we need a uh, Probably you need to take the printhead out and uh, do the cleaning. So we wanted the silicon be around the cable, but not right on the connectors. So we need to free the printhead carriage first. We turn on the power. As soon as the printhead, uh, printhead moves, we can cut uh, the power off. It depends on how your printer is set up. Uh, this model is uh, there's a cover, and uh, so we remove this cover. If you have cartridges, remove the cartridge, of course. If you have a dampers, I suggest you to mark your damper, uh, either one, two, three, four, five, six, or like me, the, the white one, white two. Now you can put them aside. Now we have to remove this plate. Uh, let me take another plate, just show you where the uh, where the tab is. See the tab right here? So we need to push them inwards to lift it up. If, you, if you're going to keep your printer for a while, and I suggest you get a set of dentists too. I'm going to put a link in the description. Uh, you can get it from Amazon. Oh, if you have a wire, you can just make one. Anyway, just, uh, just use it to go behind the tab and uh, push in and uh, take the, the plate out. Now we're going to work on those cables be two tabs, but do not use dentist tool on the first tab. If you have a use a dentist tool, make sure that you have a protector there, because sometimes you slipped and then you're going to punch a hole on the white cable. Uh, what I do is uh, I usually just use my nail. I got a little bit nail here. If you don't have nail, then you have to do other things. So just leave this tab like this, leave it up. The second tab is a little bit below it, and after I take it out, I will show you where the, where the two tabs. And you can see here's the lower tab, and uh, here's the top tab. Now we can take the cable out of that loop. You're going to see three screws on the printhead. 
and uh, just use a screwdriver to remove all screws. Uh, save the screw at a safe place uh, because uh, it's pretty hard to find those screws. Now we can lift up the print head, and you can see uh, uh, Epson already put some uh, a sponge there to catch the dripping ink. However, that's not enough because you have a DTF. Uh, yeah, you're going to pour ink down like buckets. And here is a big surprise. The company who did the modification already put the glue there, so they 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 know the problem and uh, they try to fix it. However, uh, that's not enough either. You can see the contact point is not it's not only there; it's also where the cable gets into the connector. So we need a cover. Oh, one thing is uh, when you put a small cable in, uh, it's going to hit the wall on the other side. Other side, you need some something just uh, poke in and uh, and just lift the cable a little bit so the smaller cable can go through. There you go. For the bigger cable, uh, you need to uh, gently just uh, remove the sponge. Just try different, uh, like a different edge, and uh, it's a the sponge is secured by double-sided tape, and uh, you can clean, you can remove it cleanly. Now we get the smaller cable go through small hole, and the bigger cable go through the bigger hole, and we can insert the cable back to the print head. When you do it, make sure that you push evenly, and uh, you're gonna feel it go to, go to the end. Make sure it go all the way to the end. Now we can slide the cover forward and uh, slide it until it is uh, totally uh, in the slot and uh, it look like look just like one piece with a print head. And there's no gap anywhere. It's just beautiful. Nice, nice, nice. Sorry, I'm almost in tears. Then I'm going to seal the old uh, edges with uh, this uh, tube, um, tube of silicone from uh, Holland Electronics. Uh, however, I'm not going to show the detail because uh, I think it should have uh, like a really long nose applicator, so you can like uh, install it. Uh, uh, like more neatly. Anyway, so make sure you seal the gap between the two cables. That's also where the ink may get, get in. Now your print head is fully protected. So now put the cable back to that loop and uh, and uh, put a screw back. Then the cover. The cover just straight down, push down and uh, put your uh, like a cartridge or your dampers back and uh, now pad your back because you numbered <laughs> numbered the dampers <laughs> you know which one goes first anyway another printer saved um yeah you can also uh, bring a printer here for installation too uh, not only repair hello mortals your printer is saved kevin's youtube channel is the answer to your prayers <laughs>